I'm Jake with another Holland Built powered by Senka Sen. Today we're gonna get down and dirty doing a Milwaukee pack out on top of the rig. So let's get into it. So how we're gonna do this is we have two bars on top of the side by side that we're gonna have some knuckles with 3816 tapped holes on the top. We're gonna to place four of those clamps on the top and then we're gonna make a flat plate that adapts to our pack out. So let's go ahead and get to the CAD. The first thing we wanna do is demonstrate where our center to center is on our bars. Yep. So our center to center is 12 and three quarters. On our bars, we're gonna set that here. And then what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna represent our holes on this. So our farthest hole is gonna be at five plus two and a half. Seven and a half, I could've just done that math. So we're gonna end up demonstrating some holes here. These are gonna be five inches back. And draw a line across. That. Okay, so now that we have that done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just represent the plate. And the plate is gonna be based off the measurements of this pack out always centered to the front and centered over these four holes. And then we're gonna um, project those holes onto the other plate. So essentially I'm making two sketches so that if we need to make a change to the hole layout, it's not gonna affect the pack out layout later on. So uh, we're gonna create a new sketch, sketch over that one. We're gonna draw a new overall. I went ahead and took the measurements beforehand so we can quickly um, get into this. So we're looking at 23.375 wide, and we're looking at a depth of 18.5. We're gonna go ahead and also make this origin our center point on that. And then lastly, we have four mounting holes that we're gonna end up putting in this plate. So we're gonna have, um, we're gonna draw another rectangle. We're gonna make these ones construction lines so that they don't affect our extrusion. Oh, missed one. And we're gonna look at, I'm gonna set these arbitrary right now. Our pack out is 16 by 16 inch center on this bolt pattern that we're gonna do. And then lastly, we're going to um, center this left to right. So I'm going to actually remove this dimension. We're going to right vertical. Do another line here. We're going to make those equal to each other. All right. So now that we have the overall layout, we're pretty much already done. I'm gonna do an extrusion and then I'm gonna project each one of these holes onto that surface and then we're gonna do a whole feature infusion to demonstrate our tapped holes and our countersunk holes. So let's start with doing that extrusion process. We're gonna go ahead and extrude. We're gonna use quarter inch plate. And then now we're gonna create another projection and let's bring all of our features forward. The mounting points here, here. And here. Click OK. So now if we roll it up, we can hide all of our sketches, except for our last one. And now we have these little purple dots that are gonna represent our holes. We're gonna come in here to holes we're going to demonstrate these as our quarter air, quarter 20 holes. So there we go. 
and I don't I have them demonstrated right now um, just as a, like a visual but they're not actually modeled and that actually saves us a little bit of stress later on if we model those then the DXF is going to have a weird hole that Senka is not going to be able to notice so we just don't want to model those threaded holes and then last thing we want to do is we want to add our We want to add our countersunk holes. And what we're going to do is we're not even going to model in the countersink. We're just going to model in that we want a 3 8 hole. So three, seven, five. Oh, and I missed something. Let's go back here. Project that last point. All right, now that we have all the holes in it and we know that we're gonna do some countersinking, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up this design. We're gonna radius some corners. We're gonna add a little bit of through holes just to lighten up the plate. And then we'll get this on the Sense website and get it made. All right, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and make our DXF and get it put into the website. And we're gonna go over how we're gonna add that tap hole and the countersunk holes and get it in manufacturing. So let's drag that DXF over onto the Senka Sen website and get it ready to go. So we're gonna click next, we're gonna choose our metal this time we're going to be doing aluminum 6061. We're going to do a quarter inch thick. The last thing we want to do is we want to add hole operations. 
These ones are gonna be through holes for the mounting on the side by side. These ones are gonna be our quarter 20 holes. The great thing about this is that right now I have them set for a tapping size, but it actually doesn't matter what size they are, Senka Sen's gonna resize it to the tap that we want. So we're gonna click quarter 20, add hole operations. And now we can add the cart, view our cart, and we're ready to go. So let's get this in the manufacturing floor and get it on the side by side. <laughs> And just like that, we have the adapter plate mounted to the side-by-side. -side. And that's what I call a down and dirty design. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.